What's up everybody? Today I'm making the transition to an exclusively teletherapy practice, at least for now. Before we carry on with this endeavor, it's time to get some coffee. So I explained in my most recent video why I'm making that switch to exclusively teletherapy services, at least for now. But first I need to fix this lighting because this is what the lighting looks like when I'm meeting with my clients for video therapy. It's heavy. That's actually kind of, that might be a little dark. When I look at it, it looks bright, but when I look at myself in the screen, not so bright. Part of why the lighting is so tricky at this desk is because I have all these amazing windows, which I love, but having my desk facing with the windows pointed at the desk makes the lighting a little rough. So I think the next step at this point is to set up my laptop and to see what it looks like on screen on my laptop. All right, so now that Everything's all set up. I'm using the FaceTime app to see what it looks like on my screen. And actually this looks pretty good. I'm realizing this light is doing basically nothing for me because this is so bright. I almost wanna see if I can just put it over here. In total sidebar, completely unrelated to how good the video quality is that people see on the other end, my laptop has these ridiculous lines. I don't know if you can see, but it's gonna be okay. All right, well, this lighting was a definite improvement from what we had going on before. I think I'm just gonna stick with this, and this might just stay up permanently until I'm not doing exclusively teletherapy anymore. And since I have a few minutes still before I need to get ready for my one client today, I thought I would give you some updates on this transition to an exclusively teletherapy practice. Now, today is Saturday, March 14th. It was just this past Thursday night that I decided to transition to exclusively teletherapy services for my clients. On Thursday night, I only contacted my Saturday clients to inform them. I have yet to contact the remaining clients on my schedule this upcoming week to tell them that I'm making that transition. By the way, currently I'm only working on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Now, before I announce this change, everyone who was scheduled to come in today was scheduled to come in in person. And once I made the announcement that I'm shifting to exclusively teletherapy, everyone canceled except one client. I think this is due to a couple of factors. One is that many people really do prefer to meet in person and I totally get it. I am like that too. But also I think the nature of our current climate, a lot of people are just sort of hunkering down and not really in a headspace to focus on counseling. And so they're taking the opportunity to go ahead and, and reschedule the appointment. So this naturally seems to circle back to the APA recommendations that I talked about in my most recent video. Their first recommendation is to prepare for a loss of income. And for the first day I'm working in my office, after making this announcement, I am having a significant loss of client revenue, and I'm anticipating that's likely to continue. When you run a small business and you work for yourself, this is one of the potential risks, is if you don't have profits coming into your business, you're not taking home a paycheck. So I'll plan to keep you posted on how things unfold, but full disclosure, I was scheduled to travel to Paris starting a week from today, and Needless to say, those travel plans are fully canceled. And I haven't yet opened up slots on my schedule to let clients come in via teletherapy because I'm still wanting to watch and see what happens. I'm not even sure if those slots will fill up. But for now, I'm gonna get ready to see my one client via teletherapy with my <laughs> seemingly fancy setup. It's it's not fancy. I'll link to this, this light below. It came in a set of two and I use them for filming videos, but I thought it would be worth donating to the cause for now so that I can come in a little more clearly in my therapy videos. In my therapy vi therapy video calls, therapy, Skype, it's not Skype. I don't know the 
technical terms for stuff. Right now, some of the items I have yet to do in order to fully comply with the APA guidelines in this season is of course, one, I need to inform the rest of my clients that I'm making the transition to a fully teletherapy uh, practice until further notice. And also the APA recommended that we put a notice on our website, including some of what to expect at this time and cancellation policies, et cetera. So I need to update my website Hopefully I'll take you along for that later, but if I'm not able to capture that on the camera, I'll at least link in the description box to the text that I decided to put on my website so that you can tweak it and make it your own if you'd like as well. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna be hopping back onto the video later today or tomorrow, so if I don't see you again, I hope you found this helpful as you prepare potentially as well to transition to teletherapy in this season. I'll leave some links below to help you do that if you need some support with it. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.